Welcome back to the Voice of the Coast. I am your host, Danica Foley Long, and with me we have Mayor Duval Arthur with the town of Berwick. Now, of course, this is the beginning of the year, so I'm trying to get all of our mayors in so that we can kind of do a reflection, but also to see where we're headed, what's coming in store for us 2022. I can recall almost a similar conversation 2020, everyone was so excited for 2020, and mm -hmm. now here we are two years later. How do you feel about what we've gone through in 2021? Well, 2021 was, uh, I, I'd, I'd really like to forget 2021. It wasn't a really good year for us. Uh, even though we didn't have any major catastrophes, it still wasn't a good year. Uh, you know, we got the results back from the census, and I was very disappointed in that, in the fact that, you know, our, our results and when the, the census was going on indicated an increase in what Berwick was doing. And I felt assured that all the hard work and efforts that people in Berwick did for that census, we would make that 5,000 mark. Mm -hmm. We instead lost 200 people, so we are right now at 4,777, which is, you know, it really, it really disappointed me. And that's one of those things that I ran to hope to be able to make Berwick a city. Uh, I, I, I just, I was disappointed in myself and, and uh, in the results of that, that census. And I'm gonna work extra hard. I've appealed it and uh, I don't know what's gonna happen with that. Let me ask you, do you think it was solely on I mean, I don't know, not enough promotion of it, or do you think just people just did not participate? I, I, Danica, I, I, I like to say, our, we, we got daily results from the census about w the production that was going on. And when you looked at the numbers versus the other municipalities and the parish, well, we, were, we were just, we, every day we had increases everybody else wasn't moving, it was kind of stagnant. And, and we just kept on every day with increases and I knew our numbers had to go up, but it, it, the, at the end, the end result just didn't reflect that. Yeah. I don't understand it. You know, I've asked for an explanation as to how that could happen where you have an increase every day as to, in the, now we're basing that on the 2010 census, mm -hmm. okay? where at that time there was 4,960 people. There were only 40 short of, of, uh, of being 5,000 at that yeah. time. Yeah. And, and here we are, 2020, and we, we dropped 277, you know. Well, that's definitely something that I can understand was, is a, you know, it's not so great of a reflection, but what is something that is good that you can, you can hang your hat on for 2021? Well, we, we had a lot of good things. I don't want to make, make it sound doom and gloom, right, that's for sure. Right. I'm not a doom and gloom person. I've always looked for the bright side and everything. Uh, we had the girls softball team in Berwick that went to the nationals. They won the uh, parish, they won the regional, they won the state, and they went down to Florida to play in the World Series, the Babe Ruth Girls World Series. Uh, they did very well. We were so proud of them. Uh, they 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 came back with their heads uh, held high, and we were just so proud of what those girls were able to do. Yeah. Okay. Well, of course, you got to have a little bit of everything. I want to, you know, what was what can you look back on and say could have been better, and what what actually did work for for Berwick? Well, here recently, uh, one of Berwick's own, Lucas Hatch. Uh, young man went to Berwick High School, did very well. Uh, just, just a good kid. Went to Nichols and was chosen as the homecoming king mm -hmm. for the 2021. That was a, that's a, a good thing. That mm -hmm. certainly was a good thing. Uh, we did get two subdivision approvals done in 2021. Uh, we've started uh, actually putting the uh, utilities okay. in place for both of those subdivisions. One is along Highway 182 right there by the Berwick Civic Center and they've sold nine lots there, big, big lots, and they're going to be big, big homes there. 
Uh, we're running to water, sewer, and gas right now as we speak. Uh, along Patty Drive, which is something different, uh, we've got about eight to 10 lots down there that, that uh, Berwick LLC is selling. And we're starting, we're gonna have a new sewer lift station at that location also. Okay. The one thing about Berwick, you, you have houses. I can't tell we you that do. you have houses. So we that do. might bring the people. Well, they gotta live, they in gotta the live yeah. somewhere, okay? <laughs> All right, we're going to take a short break, but come on back right here on The Voice of the Coast. We want to talk about, and I know it's on everybody's mind, let's talk about, I don't know if you can get it, give it a name, but right now I'll call it Benny the Bean. That's for the unofficial <laughs> name. Y'all come on back right here on The Voice of the Coast. Welcome back to the Voice of the Coast. Again, I am your host, Danica Foley, along with me. We have Mayor Duval Arthur with the town of Berwick. And as I alluded to before was, again, the unofficial name. I'm just calling it Benny the Beam because it, we, we're no longer doing news like we used to, but typically at the end of the year, we would always do the top stories of 2021. And I guarantee if we were still doing news, that would likely be at the top of uh, like actually doing our headlines is about this beam. We've had it torn down, uh, snatched off. What, I mean, it was like almost like a couple of months at a time we were hearing about this beam being yeah. taken down. And, and on not just on the Berwick side, but on, on Morgan City side, but because you are the mayor of Berwick, I want to ask you, you know, have you guys been in touch with DOTD? Have you told them that this is becoming problematic for us? Every couple of months we're, we're getting you know, uh, news of this beam being, you know, taken down, it's being struck by a passing vehicle. What has been their response? Well, it, it's, it's, uh, it creates a problem each and every time it gets hit mm -hmm. because DOTD's rules say that if that thing gets hit, they have to shut down traffic. No traffic is allowed to go until they come and inspect it. Yeah. And one of the complaints that we have is this. They have this big long beam on both sides, the Morgan City and the Berwick side. It goes from one side of the road to the other. It's been hit so many times, it looks like, you know, a bunch of, uh, it looks terrible. It honestly looks like a frowny face. Right, it looks it does. like kind of a half circle. <laughs> right, so what we're asking them to do is, instead of this big long beam that covers all the way across, the only thing people in Morgan City should be worried about is cars going up the bridge, going into Berwick. So if it hits the, the beam there, then it would get shut down. But have a shorter beam. Yeah. Something will be easier to maintain and keep it straight. And that way, if it hits it on the Morgan City side, it definitely won't go on the Berwick side and hit it, okay? Yeah. And the same thing, then it would, people, cars coming across the bridge wouldn't have a beam if they're coming from Berwick into Morgan City. Their beam would be on the Berwick side, mm -hmm. on the uh, eastbound side of the traffic, and that way it would be a shorter beam, yeah. easier to maintain, and hopefully be safer for us. Well, my question also is, and I think it has been asked, why isn't there maybe more signage? Or, I mean, I know you don't want your your side of the bridge to be littered with signs and all throughout the city, but. And I'm, I've never been a trucker, so I mean, the, and I'm just I'm here to be educated. Mm -hmm. Are the truckers not? Do they not know that this is on their route, especially with the, the 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 new bridge being as, you know, with one lane closure? I mean, w where is the breakdown here? Where's the disconnect? Well, most of the truckers know about that bridge, and they they know about that beam. Uh, they try to avoid that as much as possible. They always go across the new bridge mm -hmm. whenever possible. But if they get caught and they're on the Berwick side and they're delivering in Berwick, and then they have to go to Morgan City, most of them won't go back and try to hit the new bridge and come around. They don't do that. They'll go ahead and try to go across Berwick, and that's where they get themselves in trouble, okay? Uh, they know that bridge is there. It's, an, it's never going to move. Yeah. So uh, it, to, to try to avoid it is the best thing. Yeah. Uh, but until they can redo that beam, and, and like what we'd like to see them do, we just have one short beam where it, and, and, and put, design it a little differently. So if it hits it, it wouldn't necessarily stop all the traffic. So pretty much be away from the bridge, That's relocated. Correct. Yes, relocated, yeah. about 20 feet from the bridge, if mm -hmm. 20 feet further away from where the beam is right now. 
Yeah. And uh, it, would, it would give us a, a better opportunity to, to see things, observe things. Our, we have a unit that goes over there once or twice a week, and, and their sole job is to watch that bridge and watch, that, watch the beam mm -hmm. just to see how trucks are going under it, mm -hmm. make sure it looks okay. Wow. The, the, the clearance, if I'm right, I think is either 13 to 4, and so it, it, I don't know if it's still 13-4 after it's been knocked a couple of times. That's another thing that I worry about is that is it really a true 13-4? But we'll come back and let's talk about more DOTD, pro, I mean, DOTD projects that are going on throughout the city. So come on back right here on The Voice of the Coast. Joe Guidry. Welcome back to the Voice of the Coast. Again, I'm your host, and here with me is Mayor Duval Lawton with the town of Berwick. And we've already talked about Benny the Bean. It took pretty much a whole segment to talk about it, but hey, it's one of those top stories that got a lot of attention. Uh, and speaking of the bridge, the old bridge, particularly 182, we've been waiting and waiting and waiting for DOTD to take over and start um, renovating that bridge because right now we see that they're renovating the the new bridge on US 90 and now I can say they're actually almost like it looks like they're almost done we're past the halfway mark when do we expect them to start the old bridge well they, they're not gonna start the old bridge until the new bridge is complete that's mm -hmm. for sure they gave me that guarantee uh, their office is located in Berwick under the under the the bridge and I try to stay in contact with those guys to see an approximate date when they're going to be finished with this. Uh, there are two sections that they still, that most people don't see that they're going to have to complete before the bridge is complete. One section is on the Morgan City side and one on the Berwick side. And it's the area under the bridge mm. on, the, on the land side of the Morgan City and Berwick bridges. Okay. And before that's, com and when that's complete, then the bridge, will, it'll, it'll be finished and they can go ahead and start the bidding process on the old bridge and uh, to begin that process. Okay, so while it looks like it's almost done for us, it's still another yeah. section that's not really seen yeah. and mm -hmm. that they have to do. Okay, well but that- it, But it's sense. very close to completion. Okay. It is very close to completion. Mm -hmm. So once they start on the old bridge, that means that's gonna be closed down to traffic and all traffic will be allowed on the new bridge. That's correct. Uh, we were just talking about this and it because of this, and it's an inconvenience, I get it, but you know, you have to deal with it. I remember there was a, there was data collected saying that Morgan City or St. Mary Parish didn't get a lot of traffic and that was the reason why we didn't have a lot of retail. Mm -hmm. I hope they rethink that now that we have seen how traffic really flows right. through these areas and hopefully we can get the retail that we, that we need. So again, that's keeping with the DOTD and there are a lot of projects that are going on in Berg. Yep. Of course, there's a sidewalk project and where yep. is this going to be? It's going to be on the older part of, of Berwick uh, in the Utah Street area. Uh, it was uh, funded, uh, see, third Utah, I'm trying to remember all the streets that it covers. Um, DOTD is actually doing the project. They funded it and felt like there was a need for it and they're gonna complete it. That's gonna be done this year. Okay. Uh, we also have, we have two, two projects, well actually three if you include the the old bridge. We have three projects that are pending. And then we have the uh, drainage project in Country Club, which is a $1.2 million drainage project to increase the size of the drain pipe under uh, certain streets in Country Club estates, which should alleviate the drainage problems that we've been having there. Yeah, and that was a big to-do as well because right. a lot of homes were right. being flooded. It, so, was, it was funded. Mm -hmm. uh, we just don't have the grant paperwork to start the bid process. And that bidding process should take place this year. Oh, yes, that'll take place this year. I just don't know, you know, whenever we get the paperwork in, our engineer's going to go ahead and put it out on bids, and they'll mm -hmm. go ahead and do the work. So that's good. We have the money, and that's about $1.2 million. That's correct. And the project entails, uh, so right now underground, these are old pipes, right? I mean, yep. they're like 12 inches. Yeah. Um, whereas, I guess now, you see pipes as big as like 15 right. uh, um, inches. So you're going to keep the ones in place already, but right. across the street, the opposite side of the street, you're going to... Uh, put in some new pipes, That's which are 15 inches, and That's that correct. will hopefully allow better flow. Absolutely of, better flow. Okay. It'll double the flow of water, so 
you know, you shouldn't have any flooding in streets uh, when, when that's completed because it'll double the size mm -hmm. of the water that they'll be able to handle the water. Okay. All right. And that was, monies were collected to 2021, but now the sidewalk project, you had that since what, 2011? 2011. Yeah. So they're going to be pretty much busy all in Berwick, right? They're Absolutely. You'll see a lot of DOTD trucks in Berwick. Okay. All right. We have really what, one more segment to go right here. So I've got a couple more questions. Come on back right here on The Voice of the Coast. Welcome back to the Voice of the Coast. I'm here with Mayor Duval Author, and let's talk about something kind of fun. Um, a couple of months ago, the town posted on their Facebook page, and if you haven't followed them already, you can, you should. It's the town of Berwick, and there's two town of Berwick. There's the, another Berwick, so make sure you have the right one, right. one here in Louisiana. But it was a mural project. You mm -hmm. guys reached out to the public to see who would like to try their hand at putting a mural, which murals are actually, you know, it helps with economic development. It Certainly. helps with get, getting people to come in through your area. They want to know about some of the small towns in Louisiana, and that's one way of doing it. Doing it. So you had a couple of uh, artists come through. Were a lot of them local? Did you have people, you know, apply from all parts of the, I don't know, the country, the state? What kind of we we had actually had 10 participants. And they did 10 absolutely beautiful drawings and, and painted them. And uh, I'll tell you what, it really was tough looking at it and making a decision as to which one we're going to use as that mural that, that people will be able to stop in Berwick and say, hey, let's take a picture of that. It's like, welcome to Berwick. It may have a picture of the lighthouse. It may tell a story of Berwick. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're trying to find something special that we can put on that mural mm -hmm. that people will want to stop and take a picture with it. So it has to be something that kind of reaches out and grabs you. And where were you? Where are you right now in the project? I mean, I well, we, all the paintings judges. have been reviewed. Okay. Uh, we've all put our individual votes in as to which one we'd like to see. Uh, our next meeting will be to say, uh, now, w one of the issues is waiting on the approval from the state. We have to submit to them what the picture is going to look like mm -hmm. to make sure it, it, it's, it's not, it doesn't violate any guidelines the state has. Because it's going to be placed on the pillars, That's on the correct. pillar section on the new bridge or the old bridge? The new bridge. New bridge, okay. And, <clears throat> and, and I know it's not going to be something you can see from the bridge or no. the old bridge. You, can't see, you won't be able to see it. You just no. have to, you will know about it. So as you're coming through and you want to stop by, people usually like to stop by the waterway. Um, it'll be there, and That's that will right. likely get people to stay a little bit longer. You know, while well, if you there. go by the lighthouse, you're going to see it. Because okay. That's where the, the, this mural site is. It's going to be right there. And uh, so we're, we're, we're excited about this. We're, we feel like we get that painted up there. It'll be something catchy that people will want to come by. We get a lot of, uh, of people that come and visit the lighthouse. Mm -hmm. When they visit the lighthouse, they'll see that mural and they'll take a picture, hopefully. Awesome. So we're to get out about Berwick. Um, another project that was going on in Berg is the roof on Town Hall, which yes. has been kind of a, a laborious situation, right? <laughs> You've been dealing with that for a little bit. For about almost 60 years. Wow. That roof has leaked. 60 years, Ooh. and uh, I think every mayor that ever was elected in Berwick has said, I want to fix that roof, and mm -hmm. I'm going to fix that roof, and, and I'll tell you, I was just the, the one that came along that was a lucky one. I found the money to be able to do that, and, and we were able to fund it. Um, it it's important because it, it, keeping the structure of that building and making it better, and all the, the money that FEMA, because Every time we'd have a hurricane and the roof would leak, we'd apply for FEMA funds to, to fix the roof and, and, and do all the repairs that we needed. We spent a lot of money there over the years. Yeah. Now, Patchwork typically does take, take some money, you right. know, if you don't fix it all the way through. But we got away from the flat roof, <clears throat> and now we have a peak roof, mm -hmm. and it's so pretty. It's, it's yeah. a beautiful building, and all the gutters and everything are finished now. Uh, it's it's really it really is pretty. If you haven't been by Berwick City Hall, come by and pay us a visit and yeah. take a look at our roof. I know that's 
That's the, hey, <laughs> if you've been looking at it for 60 years. <laughs> yeah, if you've been looking at that old roof yeah. and the, the and all the trucks that have to come over there and put tar on the roof and try to fix it, you know. So you said uh, for 60 years, uh, and you were the mayor that actually finally did it. Yeah, did that's it. Right. Yeah. Uh, 2022 is actually your fourth year, uh, which means you are right at the end of your um, your term. Mm -hmm. Do you foresee another election? I absolutely do. I, 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 I plan to do a lot of things for Berwick. I've been trying my best to complete them. I haven't got them all done. I'm going to need, uh, if I can, and if the people feel like that they want to keep me, I'd, I'd love to stay for another four years and try to finish all those projects. All right. Well, thank you very much for your input and thank you for all the updates. Uh, you guys make sure to stay with us because we're going to try to get all the mayors there so we can get an update as to last year and also where we're headed. So thank you so much for being a part of The Voice of Tulsa. See you guys next time.